Hello everybody and welcome to another advanced machinery tutorial. Uh, in this episode we're taking a look at these mob spotters. So yeah, we've got three different ones. We've got passive, hostile, and nether. And uh, yeah, so let's take a look at these. Let's look at the recipes for autumn first. So we have the hostile spawner. That's that guy right there. A little bit expensive, but again, resources shouldn't be a problem. Uh, the nether spawner. So the blaze rods on this one uh, might be a little tricky to get. You'll have to go into the nether and grab some some blaze rods. But again, not a impossible situation. You only need four of them. And once you do that, you don't really have to go back to the nether, and I'll show you why that is the case. And then the passive spawner, which isn't really all that all that bad. You have a uh, block of diamond, of course, but lapis and dirt, which kind of makes sense, right? So, yeah, so here's the here's the passive spawner. And, uh, whoops, the, wolf <laughs> the wolf's taking care of the... Uh... Oh, look, at he's going after the llama. I didn't know they went after llamas. That's interesting. I wonder if the llama spit at him. Must have. Llama, llama must have spit at him. Oh yeah, yeah. The lot. Look at that. The llamas are spitting at the wolf, and so the wolf is going after him. But this is your passive spawner, and it it spawns all kinds of stuff, as you can see here. It spawns the llama. It'll spawn polar bears, uh, parrots. Yeah, all kinds of stuff there got cheetahs so yeah I'm not exactly sure why you want this because the mm -hmm. passive mob spawning in bedrock edition is like uh, oh there's a polar bear it's the passive mob spawning in bedrock edition is uh, like old Java it just they continually spawn they'll they continually spawn they'll despawn after a while so I mean, honestly, you don't even need animal farms on Bedrock Edition. You could just kill the animals as they spawn and you'll have plenty of meat. I mean, I do that on my survival worlds in Bedrock. I don't need uh, animal farms. I just kill the kill the animals that spawn because they're, they're going to respawn. It's not like Java. If you kill all the animals in Java, they don't respawn. That's it. Uh, except for if you're in the chunk in the spawn area, then they will respawn. But other than that, uh, in Java, if you kill off all the animals in an area, that's it. They don't respawn, but not in Bedrock Edition. They'll, they'll spawn forever. So, yeah, that's not an issue. Uh, but anyways, that's the, uh, that's the passive spawner there. Oh, look at the nether one. It's going crazy over there. Uh, this is the hostile spawner here. Now, this spawns all of the hostile mob creatures. And what I do is I have it set up with a... Uh, with the spike, let's look at the spikes real quick. Just gold, nothing major there. And the spikes will kill the kill the mobs automatically. And I've got a, the spikes sitting up. The spikes are half a block. Got a sitting on a sitting on a uh, uh, hopper, and then it just dumps all of the stuff in here. Now this would be worth getting. This would definitely be worth getting because. You can get arrows, you can get string, the rotten flesh can be turned into uh, leather with the uh, with the drying rack. So with the drying rack here you can you can turn the rotten flesh into leather. So you've got plenty of leather, you've got the bones, got gunpowder for your TNT. So yeah, this would definitely be worth getting. And as you can see, I just basically I got a, a block of water here, got the spawner, they spawn on top of the spawner uh, in the water, it's not a big deal, it's too high, and the water just pushes them onto the spikes, and then the, when they die, the, the hopper picks up the items through the spike, and it, and it ends up in the chest, very, very simple. Now this, the nether spawner is a little bit of a different animal, you need to make this one three by three. And the reason you have to make this three by three is these big slimes. Look at them. Look at these big slimes. They're just, if you do not make this a three by three area, the big slimes are going to get out of here and they're going to attack. Now what I've done is I've set this up as an XP farm. 
because the nether mobs give much better XP than the hostile mobs do. I, I wouldn't even bother setting up an EXP farm for this guy unless you want to get uh, armor, but I've never seen... I don't think these guys spawn with armor. I have not seen any armor. I've not seen any mobs with armor spawning in the hostile mobs. So, see, I mean, none of them spawn with armor. So I don't even think that's an option. So this guy, I wouldn't set up a EXP farm with a hostile spawn. Instead, I would use this guy. But again, it has to be 3x3. Three three because otherwise, those slimes are going to, are going to, uh, so loud. Those slimes are going to get out and they're going to just wreak havoc with you. Uh, let me go back into creative here. And, uh, and you can see I'm using a, I'm using a stone sword, right? And I'm pretty much killing them with one hit. I mean, I can, I could probably kill them with this, with the, with my fist, too. Yeah, pretty much. Even a blaze is like a couple hits, maybe three hits. Yeah. So. Yeah, the the pick the uh oh, gotta be careful. They will hit you here. So yeah, you can you can hit them. Uh, I drop them down about 20 blocks or so and uh, as far as the stone swords you get those you know so you can you can um, have plenty of swords to whack these guys with just you know just fix them up so you have plenty of a uh, yeah you don't even have to make them I mean you get them as you do this and the thing about this is if you kill them by hand you're gonna get the player drops which is for the wither skeletons, you want the player drops because you want those heads. You won't get those heads if you just kill them outright. In order to get the heads, they have to be a player drop. You have to kill them as a player. And so this will allow you to do it and get those heads. Uh, the heads are rare, but I have in the testing of this, I have definitely gotten the heads. So, uh, yeah, let's go back into, uh, into creative here. Let me... Let me take a look at what I've done here. It's real, real simple. So as you can see, I've got the the three block area here where I put the water. It's set up the same way as this guy down here. It's just in a, in a three block area. So I've got the water set up there in three blocks with the spawner in the middle. They spawn, the water pushes them forward into this three by three area. And again, it has to be three by three. Otherwise these slimes, the big slimes will get out. And uh, you don't want that because they'll go right for you. And it's, it's just a mess, but they'll drop down and they drop down about, this is about 20, 21 blocks, something like that. You can see this big slime here. And then once they uh, hit the bottom there, these slimes are, the big ones are, they don't take hardly any damage falling, so it really doesn't matter how much, how, how far you drop the. I mean, maybe if you went 24 or 30 blocks, you'd kill them, but the big slimes are going to take a little bit to, to kill anyways. But as you can see, even the little ones can't get out, so you're pretty safe. you got to be careful, though. If you get too close, they will hit you with this setup here. I could probably fix it so they can't hit you, but it's not that big of a deal, you know. And then you kill them and you get the you get the drops. So a lot of gold source. Now you can you can smelt these into nuggets. So I mean the gold source, uh, you know, get your grinder. What's it? Is that what it's called? The grindstone. Get the grindstone so you can pull off the XP off of the uh, enchanted swords. But then throw these into a furnace and you'll get a gold nugget out of it. And and over time, these gold nuggets will will add up. Hey, these gold nuggets will add up. So yeah, it's uh, and of course you get the uh, what's dropping the magma creams? I guess it's oh yeah yeah the slimes. That's right, the slimes drop the magma cream. So you get plenty of magma creams here. You'll get the blaze rods. You get the bones. You get the gold. You get the swords that you can fix up to use in the farm itself. So I would highly recommend that you make this an XP farm rather than just a, a kill farm. It's going to be much more, one, the, the XP is much better. I mean, 
blaze give you a ton of XP. The blaze do. And uh, yeah, it's it's all basically when you get stuff with the stone sword. Except for the big slimes. You know, though you gotta whack on those guys for a while. But you can hit everybody. Uh, pretty much the whole thing. Now I have hoppers underneath these half slabs. So whenever you kill something, the hopper will pull it through the, the half slab and put it in, in the chest. So you don't have to worry about grabbing your stuff. And, and see, if you go all the way up here, you can you can whack the guy. I'm not even all the way up here, but you can get all the way in here. So you can hit everybody in this three by three. So that's not a problem. But I highly recommend you getting a uh, XP farm here. Now, of course, the blades don't take any damage because they just float down like a like a um, like a chicken would do. So you know those take you know you're gonna have to whack those guys. But you get all the XP and uh, uh, you get all the drops and you get all the player drops as well. So definitely make this into a a um, uh, XP farm if you use the uh, Nether. Again, you'll have to go into the nether to get the blaze rods, but other than that, uh, you really, you know, that's the, oh, am I still, am I still in a, I thought I was in creative. Oh, I am creative. That's why I was not showing the recipe. <laughs> Duh. But anyways, yeah, definitely make that into an XP farm. Well, we already saw you have to get four blaze rods for that guy. So, you know, you'll tell you how to take a quick trip in the nether, find you your fortress, get you some blaze rods. Well, after that, you don't need to even go back to the nether unless you want to make, uh, you know, just do some exploration or get, you know, soul sand or soul soil or whatever it is you need. But as far as the mob drops are concerned, you can get all that through the nether. And that's really a great source of XP and player drops as well. Oh, no, no, this guy, look at here. He is, uh, he spawned with with uh, leather armor. Okay. Yeah, see, that's the first guy I've seen spawn with actual armor. So I guess they do spawn with armor. So, you know, one thing you could do is if you want to make a drowned farm, you could uh, use this and... Uh, put the guys in water and you know of course the uh, the uh, other mobs would the skeletons wouldn't drown but the other mobs would probably drown I would think not really sure yeah I know skeletons don't drown they, they stay underwater of course the the um, the uh, uh, zombies if they're in water, they'll turn into to the ground. So you could make a drown farm out of this. I'm not sure what you would do with all the other mobs that you're going to get here, though. There's no way to select mobs. Oh, and see, this guy's got... Okay, so they do spawn with armor. I hadn't noticed that before. So, yeah, you could... If you wanted to get armor, you could make this into a XP farm uh, to get the armor if you, if you actually wanted that. I'm not really sure it's worth it. Uh, you know, in the long run, because you're going to want diamond armor and you've got all your resources coming in. And I mean, you can make iron and diamond armor and uh, you can even get uh, ancient debris through the um, through the void miner. Here through the void miner, you can get ancient debris. So, yeah, it's uh, there's really no reason. I don't, I don't think to do that. And with the ancient debris, you could of course get the netherite. So uh, this, this uh, doing the mob spawners was really the last item in this in this list. We've covered pretty much everything there is to cover. Uh, the you get a book with this, by the way, that you can that you can look at. It just tells you about the different stuff. Yeah. So I mean, it it doesn't really give you too much information. It just tells you what's available in this in this mob pack. Uh, the last item we haven't looked at, though, is this end cake. And I haven't tried this, but supposedly if you eat this end cake, you go to the end. So let's, let's try it. And there we are. We're definitely in the end. Yeah, this is where we're going to end it. I think this uh, really turned out 
pretty well. Uh, I hope you got some good information in this series. This is by no means going to be the last uh, the last tutorial for uh, Bedrock add-ons. Uh, Emotionless has a bunch of more add-ons. Uh, he's got a whole ton of them over there, and I'm going to be looking at it, all of them. I'll probably put them under a little different heading, uh, you know, Bedrock add-ons, for example, because they're all kind of standalone add-ons that you can use with advanced machinery or you can use them standalone either way there is a more generators one that's sort of a companion to advanced machinery that we'll take a look at but i'll do each each of them individually there's you know baubles there's the uh over enchantment table uh he's got a bunch of them so yeah we'll take a look at each one of those so i'm by no means going to finish doing the add-on tutorials we're definitely going to go through those uh, but this will be the last one for the advanced machines unless i can figure out how to automate that steam engine if i come up with a good system for doing that uh, I'll, I'll post that on the advanced machinery tutorials section uh, it's not really going to be worth it but what the heck we'll do it anyways right just for fun uh, so yeah, that that might be coming down the pipe if I can figure out a way to do it. That's reasonable, you know. Uh, but that's it. So I appreciate you guys watching the series. I appreciate all the feedback that I've gotten on it, all the views. It's been really wonderful, and I will see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye bye.